ISS is a new space thriller starring Ariana DeBose. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Tensions flare in the near future aboard the International Space Station where a worldwide conflict breaks out on Earth. Soon the US and Russian astronauts each receive orders from the ground, take control of the station by any means necessary. Thrillers set in space often work. You have a limited amount of space to work with. There's just tension in space and there's really nowhere to turn. You take an idea of having Russians and Americans on board this International Space Station where they worked together, but when they look down at Earth, they see that there are attacks and they get orders from ground to take over the International Space Station. So you have a really good idea behind this movie, but unfortunately ISS does not reach the heights that I think it could reach. It's not a gripping, memorable space thriller. You do have um, a lot of development for the Russian and American astronauts. Unfortunately, development I really did not care for. I want to get to the Russians and Americans trying to take over this International Space Station and uh, the conflict between the two. And unfortunately, you spend a lot of time with the astronauts, developing them, seeing that they are friendly with each other, trying to add some personal backstory to the group. And I just didn't really care much for all of that. The characters weren't that intriguing in the first place, so there's not really much to latch onto when it comes to the characters. And so with the characters not being that interesting or uh, that well-developed in the first place, when you get to some of the the heightened action scenes at the end you don't get the emotion behind watching some of the astronauts trying to uh, overpower the russians or the americans and take control of the international space station at, the, at they are friends and they are connected you should have more emotion surrounding all of this watching them tear down the other people uh, should lead to some challenges along the way it leads to some emotional moments for this group but it just was not there the visuals in here are absolutely stunning. The International Space Station is well put together. The effects uh, when they are outside of the space station, it looks absolutely stunning. The moment where they look down at Earth and they see that there's attacks and there's that conflict, it provides a pretty eerie feeling just watching that. And they don't really go into detail with all of that. So you have some of a mystery surrounding what is actually going down on Earth and not getting all that information on the space station, you just have to take control of the space station. So the visuals for that one scene looks really good. The visuals in general, for it being a film that wasn't all that thrilling, it looks absolutely good. Once you realize what is happening and they have to take control of the space station, there is some tension as they are not trying to uh let the other group know about what is happening the russians have orders the americans have orders but they're not making it public or just announcing it to everybody so watching how they have to be strategic about it there is some tension within those uh moments more so the middle half of the movie but once you get to uh, people dying and uh, people taking control there's that lack of emotion connection to this movie, the characters weren't that interesting. Ariana DeBose is decent within this movie. The acting's fine, but not one character stood out. Not one big moment stood out. Unfortunately, it's just a story that has a good idea, good visuals, but didn't really do much with it all. And so it's one of the more kind of a frustrating movie. It should be more like thrilling and action packed and tense but it traded in for some of these action scenes for some more development for the characters trying to have some connection uh i do understand all of that like the humanity behind it uh we're friends and we don't know exactly what's going down on earth we should be there to like kind of help each other but you do have these orders in place and that's what they have to do is take control of the space station. So 
I think if they tweak things just a little bit, it would have been more of a thrilling space film. So before I give you my score for ISS, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. If you'd like to see where ISS ranks amongst all the other 2024 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give ISS a C. Thank you guys for checking out my review for ISS. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.